Hey there, Q here with another Wild Eye Wednesday review. Now before I get into that, I just want to let you all know I'm going to be dishing out a lot of videos today, guys. I am so far behind. Alright, with that out of the way, the film that I'm going with this week for Wild Eye Wednesday, and continuing with the spirit of Halloween, I'm going with Halloween Night in 2004, uh, it was hard to look up and find info on this one. Um, there's no trailer. Um, I had to really watch the, like, I did watch the whole film not once, but, like, four times, actually, really, uh, to really get into this film. Uh, not get into it, but um, to memorize it pretty well. And to really also go over the actors and the director. So I believe the director is Mark Polonia. Um, the actors in this is Todd Carpenter, uh, Cindy, I can't even read my writing, guys, that's horrible, Cindy Wheeler, uh, Danelle Donahue, uh, Robert Dennis, Ken v uh, Vincent, Matthew Satterley, and Brian Berry, and many more, and I'm pretty sure I butchered half of those names, <laughs> and, uh, either way, the music score was pretty decent for this film, guys, and, uh, the overview for this one, a bullied student exacts his revenge on those who wronged him during a college party on Halloween night. Using a living scarecrow, his Frankenstein-like creature carries out a bloody massacre and only, uh, and only one woman can stop it. Sorry about that, guys. First of all, the overview that they gave is completely wrong because it's not a bullied student that goes after these kids. It is actually a janitor and um, people keep bugging the janitor over and over, and the janitor, he puts up um, a uh, some Halloween decorations, and he makes a scarecrow, and you see he's in the love of Halloween, like most of us are. And these college kids that are supposed to be in college that look like the, some of them are in their 50s, which I found a little weird, um, they came by his house and totally destroyed his scarecrow. And he got really upset about that, so he, the janitor, ends up breaking into a hospital and steals a brain and a heart and ends up placing it into the scarecrow where he then brings the scarecrow to some kind of uh, place that he made where it has like a pentagram and stuff and he's do he does a chant and brings the scarecrow to life to do his bidding. And uh, that's when the fun really starts, guys, I'm telling you. It... It was better than I expected. Um, what I really liked about this, I liked the storyline. I thought the storyline was great. And the kills were actually really awesome in this one. The atmosphere for Halloween was fantastic. I really did like that. They even had a little Halloween party and interesting costumes. Um, the Scarecrow could have looked a little bit more menacing, but he did look very menacing near the end of the film, which I wish they would have kept that look throughout the whole film from the beginning. I think that would have been cool. Um, some of the actors in this could have put a little bit more effort into their acting, though. But overall, I really did find myself really enjoying this film, guys. I found it easy to watch it two to three times. And um, I found it pretty fun. And um, I hope you guys do, too, if you check it out. So, would I recommend this, guys? Yes, but only for a one-time watch if you're not really into Halloween films, like Halloween-themed films. But if you're into Halloween-themed films and you like horror and you're into Wild Eye, this is definitely one that I will be watching every Halloween season. So, that's going to be it, guys, for this review. i like to give a shout-out to Wild Eye for coming out with these films, releasing these. Um, I'm having a blast watching them, and... Uh, Cannot wait to get my hands on actual copies of Wild Eye Films. Um, also, make sure to check out everyone else doing Wild Eye Wednesday. They have some awesome titles that they review, and they do some awesome reviews, guys. So, uh, yeah, please go check them out. And thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And like I said, I could not find a trailer for this one, guys. I do apologize for that. So, you all take care. 
Ciao.